Hello and welcome to another watch report video review. My name is James Stacy, and today we're taking a look at one of the watches from the very successful New Zealand brand uh, Magrete. And uh, this is the, and I apologize for my pronunciation, uh, the Regatare Moana Pacific PVD. I know I didn't do that full justice, um, but hopefully we can take a nice close look at the watch. So obviously what you see right away, it's even in the name, it's a PVD coated case, there's a stainless steel version of this watch as well, I much prefer the PVD. Um, it's a very much a matte finish uh, PVD, very nice. It's a stainless steel case, you get a screw down crown, overall water resistance is only 5 ATM, it's about 130 feet. Um, so it's not a dive watch by any stretch, this is meant to be kind of your daily uh, sport watch style. Um, it's made in an Italian tradition. It kind of has a Panerai style case um, and then the font and some of the, the cues from the hands um, would relate more back to uh, Anonimo, another small uh, Italian brand that's been making dive watches for uh, quite a while now. Um, I think together, uh, Magretti's kind of built these styles together and they've made something that's very classic but also quite sporty and in a few ways distinctly uh, New Zealand. Um, this is powered by uh, the Miyota 8125 Citizen Automatic. We've seen lots of dive watches and lots of indie dive watches uh, with this wa uh, movement. Uh, it includes uh, this black with red stitching and kind of a flashy red backing uh, strap and a nice rubber strap as well. And as you can see, it comes with this really cool uh, pine style wood box and a roll case to hold straps, cards, things like that. I like when uh, dive uh, or when companies include things like this as it's just a little extra gesture to people who are you know, going into a watch that may not be a brand name um, and you get a unique experience. That's what you're getting from a lot of these indie brands. So what we'll do is we'll take a nice close look at the dial and, uh, and we can take a look at some of the styling. So I think this watch is absolutely gorgeous. Really simple, really sparse dial. I love that they mix the um, very uh, modern typeface of the name with uh, the kind of script in the Moana Pacific and then uh, regatare uh, would come from I believe the word for compete um, and these days has a nautical uh, component to it like a regatta. Um, you get the uh, signed aspect of the uh, Magrede symbol on the non-PVD crown. I think this would have been nice to have PVD but over time after a couple days of wearing this, I actually really liked it uh, the way it was. The case is very comfortable, has these short hooked lugs, and uh, you'll see that even though it's uh, 16 millimeters tall, it actually wears quite thin. I can show you a wrist shot in just a moment. Um, I will show you one of the probably the most unique thing about this watch, and uh, all, all the McGrady timepieces have a a piece of this ancient uh, New Zealand kari wood. Um, which is a protected wood, they can only get it um, from dead quantities of, uh, of the wood. But this gives you the, the symbol and it has this kind of opalescence that I really like. Um, it's behind a, like a sapphire or a glass plate of some sort. Uh, it tells you of course the brand and your uh, serial number and the model that you got. That's something I've never seen before. The, the Kari wood can be as old as uh, 45,000 years according to McGrady's website. And uh, this is exceedingly unique and, and, and something, this is the, the kind of personal touches that this brand, Magrede, seems to understand so well and the reason that they're so loved on the uh, forums. Um, so what we'll do is I'll charge, this up under the, uh, I'll charge this up under the light and we'll take a look at a loom shot. Okay, and here we are back after about 30 seconds under the lamp. So I can, as you can see, the larger hands that have more area for the paint glow very nicely and the hands actually last for quite a long time. The uh, numerals, on the other hand, they do not. Uh, there's very limited amounts of uh, paint to be had there, and they just don't glow for that long. Um, all things told, if you it, the watch would have to look quite a bit different to support more luminous paint, uh, so it's a trade-off for the style. The rather modern uh, numerals used are very thin, uh, so they have a limited room for paint. Okay, so this is the uh, Moana Pacific uh, PVD on wrist. Uh, it's a comfortable watch, as you can see it really does keep uh, the curve of your wrist nicely and uh, it's not too tall, it had no trouble fitting it under any sleeves, it's a little taller than um, what you might want to wear as uh, maybe your daily watch um, or watch if, if you're used to wearing something a little bit dressier, this will come off as quite tall at 16 millimeters. 
Um, the, the only issue that really comes up with this watch, uh, some people don't like that it's missing a second hand. Didn't bother me at all. Um, it's a little bit difficult to set the time, but if you set it on one of the five minute markers, you're going to be within a minute. And uh, that, that fits with the style. It also kind of fits with the uh, New Zealand ethos, as I understand it to be. And uh, the only other issue would be something that I, I do hope they fix in future models, is there's no anti-reflective coating at all on the crystal. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful watch, but almost with the exception of the angle that I'm holding it at now, you will see all sorts of reflections. Not something that seems to be mentioned by a lot of other reviews that I've read, so it may maybe just me. Um, but I think this is an absolutely great watch. They are selling this at an almost unbelievable price at $365. That, if you remember, is what the uh, what the holotype first listed at. Uh, roughly, and at $365 you're getting the case, uh, the, the roll, the two straps, the watch, it keeps great time, uh, you know, as best as, a, as you could measure with no second hand, it's been completely fuss free, and I think it's a great looking watch. Uh, so good value, nice design, could just use some AR on the crystal. So for Watch Report, my name is James Stacy, and this has been our video review of the Magrede Regatair Moana Pacific PVD. Thanks very much for watching.